what am I doing here with the Philadelphia Eagles cheerleaders? Well, it turns out they know more science than I do. We're gonna talk to four of them who are shattering stereotypes. I'm here with Rita, Philadelphia Eagles cheerleader, mathematician. Once you figure out, like, I'm pretty good at this stuff and I like it. My 11th grade math teacher said to me, you know, this might be something that you wanna do. You know, teach math. You're really good at it. Why don't you just consider it? When I was a senior in high school, I took a course called Ready, Set, Teach, and it involved me going into my uh, math classes with my peers, getting up in front of them and teaching them a lesson. And when I did that and I got a positive response out of them, I was like, you know what, this is it. Mm -hmm. I, I could do this. I could definitely do this. So, you know, I used to be um, a 76ers cheerleader. So, two, four, six, eight. Some is 20. Yeah, it is 20. I was never, I'm not a math girl. Amy Mecca, Philadelphia Eagles cheerleader and science fan. Science, Amy, for real? Growing up, um, I was diagnosed with a chronic illness. And um, between the ages of 11 and 14, I spent a lot of time in and out of the hospital, um, surrounded by nurses and doctors. And I really went through a lot. And the impact that those doctors and nurses had on me it really stuck with me and um, by you know going after a career in the healthcare field it was kind of my way of of giving back to to that did you learn in anatomy class that when you get older and have kids you will get hips <laughs> we actually didn't go over that but thank you <laughs> here with Jenna Philadelphia Eagles cheerleader occupational therapist fan of science Jenna I am so happy to meet you I need a new occupation <laughs> Well, an occupational therapist doesn't choose occupations like most people believe. Um, it's an area of science that's more kind of like physical therapy if you want to relate it to something. Um, it's rehab. We help people in their um, daily activities. Um, so the different kinds of patients that I work with, I work in a hospital with patients that have had knee replacements, hip replacements. Um, people who have suffered spinal cord injuries, strokes, all different kinds of things, and they need help getting bathed and dressed. So I show them different techniques and work on them with exercises to just get back to being independent and doing what they're doing prior to whatever injury they had. Did you know that Jenna was an Eagles cheerleader? I did not know before today. I didn't expect someone who was my therapist to also, you know, have that kind of a more exciting life. Your metatarsals, lumbar spine, clavicle, go science! I'm here with Jessica, Philadelphia Eagles cheerleader, research specialist in urology. Planets, tell us about your work. I love planets. It's a little bit different than planets, actually. It's working with your digestive tract and doing research for what actually Amy's dealing with. She was diagnosed with a digestive tract disease and I'm actually researching a different types of way to deal with the pain. Wow, okay, how'd you get into this? Actually, I wasn't interested in science at all until college. I kind of got started doing criminal justice, wanting to get into forensics a little bit, and I started taking one biology class and I fell in love with it. Science cheerleader, making, making science and math sexy. Go!